Royal Regiment of Scottish Horse, of which James Claverhouse, otherwise known as Bonnie Dundee, was Colonel. These stalwart soldiers had fought alongside their young Colonel for many years, and indeed early in the year had ridden with him all the way to southern England and back in an attempt to defeat William of Orange's invasion. Officially disbanded by the new government and now serving without pay, they, along with the Fairmont's gentlemen, accompanied Dundee on his fatal charge across the battlefield here at Killycrankey. Now, for those of you with keen eyesight, it may look like a government troop or a red coat has slipped into line at the back of the cavalry display there. This was common at the time. They were government troops to begin with and still believed that they were. So many of the cavalrymen that day would have been dressed in what they deemed the appropriate uniform. Down into the barrel of the gun once the shot and the cartridge and the powder had been filled. It's very important that this is not dropped because without this you could no longer load your weapon. And it's also very important to remember to remove it from the muzzle of the gun because really a little stick won't hurt as much as a bullet. Now as we've said the pistols can be a little bit unreliable but Alan so far is uh, shooting a 2 out of 2 so no pressure Alan. And if this pistol goes off, first of all, remember to duck in a big cheer, ladies and gentlemen. second of our infantry display teams. This time it won't just be the government troops that are being displayed, but the government and Jacobite troops. We should have lots of musket fire, lots of flashes, lots of bangs and smoke, and I believe that we may even have two cannons this time rather than just one. I'll hand over to one of our infantry experts who will lead you through the rest of the demonstration. by the Jacobite cannon blazing away at them from this corner. The Irish there putting fire in. Those pikemen very vulnerable. You see on this flank of the Jacobite army just advancing to counter the threat of those pikemen a couple of Highland soldiers. These Highland men, just with their show of force, are sufficient to drive the enemy back. The Highlanders will be watching out for those pike. They'll struggle to get through them unless they can brush them aside. The Highland men outnumbered, but putting up a ferocious demonstration anyway of their abilities. A pike is a difficult weapon to get past, it seems. The musketeers have had a little bit more uh, fortune in disrupting the enemy's formation. But those pikemen are an excellent defence and have clearly done some damage to those poor Highland fellows. Although I think, ladies and gentlemen, that those Highlanders and those few pikemen might only be lightly wounded. Of anybody who's with a loaded musket. That's a mistake you only make once.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you very much. The Jacobites having the honour of leaving the field behind the Royal Standard and behind them the Williamite soldiers, their pike and musket. Thank you very much. Do please come and visit us. Later in the afternoon, we'll be having a demonstration of the Highland Charge, ladies and gentlemen, which is sure to put you off your evening meals.